Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I wasn't going to do a video today. I was going to save this. Some shit came up and so I feel like at least one of you needs to hear this, but probably a lot more of you. Something that every creative person goes through that a lot of people don't even realize is a fucking thing is the idea of coming off the mountain, okay? I didn't even think about this until right this fucking second. I'm gonna give you a little history on me, a little, a little weird story. As you know, I have lived many lives and I have done many fucking things because that's just the kind of fucking guy I am, right? One of these things, that I did. There was a about four years in my history where I thought I was going to end up a man of the cloth, as most lunatics do, right? And for three months, I was a missionary in the Middle East, in um, Amman, Jordan, to be exact, and around in the area. Afterwards, after those three months, we, the, the group I was with, went to Zion, Switzerland to do a little something called debrief. And I'm like, I'm wearing the boxers. I don't know what I need debriefs for. No, okay, that, that was too much, that was too much. And basically, what this whole 10 days in Switzerland was to do it was to make all of us understand that when we go home and we want to talk about how awesome our trip was and like just the great shit that we did and the great shit that we saw and all this other stuff, that more likely than not, no one is going to give a fuck. And what that does is depresses the fucking hell out of you because you're on this fucking high and you come down the mountain and nobody fucking cares, okay? So for those of you who like to read fantastical stuff, I'm not talking about the Bible. That's funny that that's what you thought I was talking about. No, I'm talking about the fucking Hobbit, okay? Or here and back again. Um, or there and back again, or whatever the fuck they... Okay. Bilbo has a little moment of this, too. But um, he was a big, giant pussy, so he didn't really fucking care. But when he came back to the Shire, okay, after his crazy adventure, it was kind of weird. But he was just glad to be home. I say all this stuff... Because I feel like there's kind of two types of people there. And some of you might go, oh, you, you misunderstood the point of The Hobbit. I don't fucking care. I'm using it as a fucking point here. Um, some of us are very adventurous people and like all of this shit that we do and dig the adventure. And when we come home, we want to share about it. Others are so fucking tired of the adventure, they just want to get back home and see normal ass shit. Um, the creative people are going to be the ones that want to tell everybody about it. The um, boring-ass people that don't watch this channel are the Bilbos, okay? Like, they're the ones who end up on adventures in spite of themselves, okay? And they just want to get back fucking home, all right? Now, some of you might be trying to figure out where the fuck I'm going with this. Because my videos are stream of conscious fucking shit, so they're all over the fucking place. So every once in a while, I try to fucking nail in a fucking actual goddamn fucking thing. Some of you out there, you will write a book, and you put so much fucking time and effort and energy into this thing, and you're so fucking excited about it, and then the book fucking comes out, and you're fucking terrified. Are people going to like it? Are people going to buy it? Is any of this worth it? What the fuck am I doing this for? Yada, yada, yada. And then you do it. It's a success just because it's out. And then you come home and you come back to normal life. For those of us with addictive personalities, the high that we get from doing a project is huge. Okay? 
And then when we come back down from the mountain and there's no project there anymore, we don't know what the fuck to do with ourselves. Depression sinks in. We notice that nobody else really gave a shit about what we did except us. And that's really disheartening. It's like, what the fuck am I doing this for? And you really feel like nobody gives a shit. And then when you feel like that, if nobody gives a shit, why are, why are we doing this in the first place? This is horrific. And you start really fucking coming down on yourself. And if you let those deep, dark blues fucking get in, dude, they're really hard to get out. So, the thing that people tend to do, or I don't know if this is even a good thing to do, but this is what I fucking do. I start another fucking project. I try to celebrate myself for a little bit, but that's very short-lived. So then I start another fucking project. Because if I don't have another project to jump into, that shit will fucking get you down. And it will fucking just eat at your fucking soul. Who wants to fucking come down the mountain, dude? Let's fucking, like, light the fucking mountain on fire and fucking run around like a crazy motherfucker. That's, like, what I'm talking about. If this is you, if you have done a project and then after the project was over were hit with a crippling depression and you didn't understand why, this is why, okay? A lot of times these things are right in front of our faces and we don't notice it because no one's ever fucking just said, this is what happens, okay? Now, I really, really would like for anyone watching this who's gone through this to leave it in the comments down below and talk about like the depression that snuck up on you that fucking beat you over the head with a goddamn baseball bat okay after you came down the mountain okay whether it's just you being unfulfilled because you have nothing else to do or if it's something that's like um, the people in your life made you feel like shit because they didn't fucking care. Whatever these things are. Just another little tidbit. If you are not a person that has tons of projects lined up in your head, okay, and you have this depression after your book comes out, try really hard. And this will help you in the long run, too. Try really hard to make your next project marketing the fuck out of your book and figuring out new ways every day to get your book in front of people or your project in front of people. Okay. Make that your new project. It's not as fun, but if you need something to focus on, focus on that. Okay. Cause everyone focuses on the release of the book, but very few people follow up on what happens after. And your book's either going to go like this or it's going to go like that. Okay? Now, the last thing I'm going to leave you with here. I told this to a very special person recently who um, is kind of going through this. I, I, I can't remember who said it, so it doesn't fucking matter. But here, here's the deal. Somebody, some actor or something, might not even have been an actor, but for my analogy, it's going to be an actor. Some actor won, finally, finally won best actor won the oscar like everyone the whole room was clapping he gets up he walks up to the stage and there's just a sea of people applauding him some of them get on their feet and start clapping tears are in his eye he holds that statue and he's he's dreamt of this moment his whole fucking life and he gets up there and he's like doing his speech that he's played in his head a million times. He thanks everybody. Um, the music swells. He walks off. He lifts the statue in the air again and goes out back. There's tons of photographers. They're taking pictures, people asking him questions. It's great. He goes to an after party among all of his peers, all of his jealous peers, and they're drinking and they're having a ball, women throwing themselves at him, the whole fucking thing. He has a limo driver take him back to his beautiful 
enormous house overlooking the ocean. He's high as a fucking kite on life. Keys in the door, turns the knob, opens the door, walks in, and steps in some dog shit. Because his dog decided to shit on the floor in front of the door all over his $1,200 shoes. Okay, he stepped in Okay, with, the, with his shoes and the shit. And it brought him right back down. He had the greatest night of his life, but he came home and he still stepped in dog shit. His dog still shit on the floor. Now, does that take away from his achievements? No, but it shows you that no matter what we do, no matter what heights we reach, the dog is still going to shit on the floor. It's just life, and that happens. And what you do after you step in that shit is going to be how you live your life. There's always going to be shit that you step in, okay? So just know that, okay? It doesn't take anything away. One Man Massacre, it's not really out now, but if you want a copy, email me. And we're still doing that sale. So if you buy three of my books, you will get one free. So just send me an email what books you want and give me your address and I'll send them to you and then tell you how much you owe me, okay? Free domestic shipping. Look at that shit. That's a sale. So do that. Join the Anarchy Crew. Type hard. I think I'm going to do a live stream for the members today, the first live stream of the year. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. So I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.